Okay, this is an instructional video on installing the Astro Traction tire chains on your tire for your uh, tractor or ATV. Uh, there's a set of instructions included in each set of chains that are shipped to you, so please read them carefully. So the first step that we recommend is that you park your tractor or ATV on a uh, level surface. The second thing what you want to do is use a heavy sturdy jack and raise the tire that you're going to work on approximately one inch off the ground. Please be careful not to use or put any body parts underneath the, uh, the uh, tractor or tire. We recommend also letting the air out of the tire before you try to put the chain on it. This uh, deflates the tire of course and uh, reduces the size just slightly and allows you to install the chain on the tire tighter. The tighter that you have the chains installed onto the tire, the better, the better that they will work and the longer they will last for you. Now the next step in installing the tire chain is when you get the tire chains out of your box you want to lay them flat on the ground to determine the inside from the outside and the top from the bottom. Try to make sure there's no twists in the chain and that they're all laid out straight. Now to determine the top from the bottom, this is the outside or it goes away from the tire, the side with the nuts on it. If you look at the inside, this is the head of the bolt. That actually goes towards your tire. This side goes away from your tire. Now to determine the chain from the inside from the outside, most chains are have a latch which is used on the outside and a hook which is on the inside. Some of the bigger chains will have two latches. Again, most chains have a latch and a hook. So the hook goes on the inside. What you want to do then is take your chain and drape it over the tire like this. And what you want to do is start off on the inside and you want to take the hook and latch it on the very last link like so. After you have that done is you want to come back to the outside of the tire and you want to latch or hook the latch on the very last link. Okay. Now once you have that done then you want to adjust the bars, try to space the bars out evenly across the tire. Now when you have that done is you want to actually go back to the inside of the tire again and take up another link with the hook. What I'm going to do is unhook it and take up one more link all right and then I'm going to come back to the outside and I'm going to take up another link. After you have that done again Rearrange your tire bars or space your bars evenly on your tires adjusting the chain. Again, what you want to do is keep repeatedly going from the inside to the outside taking up a link. So now I'm going to go back to the inside, take up one more link. Come back to the outside. and take up another link. Now you will eventually get to the point where you can't take up any more links that will be too tight. Again, the tighter you have these tire or tire chains on the tire, the better job they will do and the longer it will last. So I'm going to go ahead and take up another link on the inside. And then another link on the outside. keep alternately going inside and outside. Once you get that done that you can't take up any more links on the inside or the outside and it is alright if you're able to get one more link on the inside and not on the outside or vice versa. That doesn't matter as long as they're within one link of each other. You get to that point again space the bars evenly around the tread of the tire and at that point you can reinflate your tire. Um, 
what we recommend is test driving it after you have your chains installed. If the ride is excessively bumpy, you have too much air in your tire, reduce the air pressure in your tire. Uh, having your chains fit tightly on your tire will give you the most traction and the most longevity for your tire chains.